Hey everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how we can escalate server side template injection into RCE. Before that, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I have shown you that how we can uh, automate the process of server side template injection, then I recommend you to check, to check that out and let's get started for this video. Also, if you are new to our channel and if you don't know about our website which is bepractical.tech, then I recommend you to check that out. We have awesome labs for cyber security as well as web development over there. As you can see, we have this website and we have labs for uh, web development as well as cyber security. So do check that out and improve your bug bounty and ethical hacking skills as well as your web development skills. Now coming back to the video, let's see that how I have found and how I have escalated server side template injection into RCE. First of all, you have to find RCE and make sure that in order to find uh, RCE via server side template injection, you need to access an object that is uh, somehow rela related or executing or is allowed to execute system commands. So what I mean by that, so we know that we can access ob objects using server side template injection, right? So we have to access those objects which can be used to execute system commands, right? Now, in order to find RCE using a uh, server side template injection, you need to first of all find that which template template that the site is using. For example, in this case, this site is using uh, Spring Boot. Now that we have identified that we are using Spring Boot, then what we are going to do, we are going to find payloads related to Spring Boot that can be used to execute system commands. Let me show you how. So as you can see, in this website, it is showing that it is made with Spring Boot. We can use multiple tools to detect whether this application is using Spring Boot or not, but since it is clearly mentioned over here so I'm not going to use any of that now first of all let us try to find a uh, server side template injection so if I use a simple query like this uh, 40 into 30 and let's see whether we get 1200 or not so as you can see we get 1200 which means that the site is vulnerable to server side template injection now what we need to do is we need to find payloads related to uh, this particular Spring Boot that can be used to execute system commands that can be used to access the, the objects that are uh, allowed to execute system commands basically right so we can just do this by uh, go googling this particular uh, string like uh, RCE payloads SSTI for uh, RCE payloads for SSTI Spring Boot something like this so let me show you what we can google so if I type uh, SSTI to RCE payloads then you can see we have a bunch of payloads that can be used by us to uh, execute system commands right so I'm just going to add the template engine here spring boot and as you can see we got multiple websites and now let's try to uh, find a payload that can be used to execute system command on that particular application so it is going to take some time because my internet speed is a little bit slow so don't worry about that so what we can do now is we can uh, see some website that uh, is showing us that how we can uh, execute system commands using SSTI right so I got one of these websites which is blog.hawkeyessecurity.com so let me show you what this website is so in this website someone has found uh, RCE uh, via spring engine in yahoo so let me show you what payload did that particular guy used so as you can see normally he tried this payload so in this payload you can see that it, it is accessing this particular uh, object right java.lang.system so this is an object that can be used to execute system commands and it is trying to get environment variables so let let us try to see whether we can get this same output as the hacker did over here so i'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my application so please make sure that in that particular case we have found that the hacker was using a dollar right but we know that we have executed the SSTI via star right so we are going to use star instead and let's hit enter and let's see what happens so as you can see we successfully got the environment variables now the second job is to execute a system command like who am I or LS or anything that can be an indication that we, we were able to execute system commands right so we can do this over here as you can see we have another object which we can use so if I copy this and if I paste it over here sorry so we need to provide star over here as I have told you before and as you can see 
it is showing that we have searched for process PID and exit value not exist but it is not showing us that we were able to execute the command right we are not getting the output of it so we need to get the output so for that we can type something like this instead of this particular command that the researcher did we are going to type OMI and as you can see it is showing that error occurred banned characters which means that the characters are banned so there is some kind of uh, implementation a firewall implementation done by the developers that is not allowing us to execute system commands perfectly right but still we know that we can access some of the environment variables so it is possible that we can execute system commands so now what this ha hacker did basically he has encoded all these particular uh, commands like if you want to execute who am i then it is going to uh, convert that uh, characters each characters of OMI into an ASCII code the so ASCII code is nothing but a number associated with that particular uh, character and after that he has used a particular as you can see he has used a particular character object to convert all those numbers back to the string so when we got the particular numbers it is going to convert it into string and then it is going to be executed by this uh, java.lang.runtime so in the end we will see we should see the output of OMI so in this case the attacker has tried to access the etc slash password that's why the string is so long but in our case whatever depending on the commands it is going to uh, vary a lot so let me show you so if I copy this and if I paste it over here now let us see what will happen so I'm going to append a star because we know that the SSTI is executing because of that particular star right so it is going to take some time because the payload is actually very long now let's try to put a star and let's see what happens and as you can see we were successfully able to uh, execute this particular uh, payload and we got the etc password content right now we can create a simple python script that can be used to execute uh, to convert that particular command into ASCII codes to that particular payload right so let me show you i created one and i'm going to show you that particular payload so if i head over to here and this is the particular payload and let me minimize it and as you can see this is the simple tool that I have created which which will uh, take any command in input and it is going to create a payload of that particular command so let me try to run this now uh, okay sorry so request is not installed I'm just going to install it so I can type uh, cmd pip PS4 and I can just run this application and it is asking for command and if I type OMI it is going to generate a payload related to this particular command so if I copy this and if I paste it over here you will see that the who am i command is executed and the current user is wooden right so i hope that you have understood that how we can escalate a server side template injection into remote code execution and it will vary a lot depending on the uh, template template engine that they are using and which objects can be uh, accessed by that particular uh, program and which objects are allowed by the developers to be accessed uh, through that engine so with that said if you have any doubts if you have any issues then please please let me know in the comment section also do join our telegram group telegram channel where we can have discussion over any topic like web development bug bounty etc and finally if you guys have any doubts then please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching